Thanks for stopping by Pete's Garage. In a recent video, I was torquing down the cylinder heads on the 440, and when I finished torquing down the cylinder heads, I used one of these devices to check the torque after I was finished. And since then, I got a bunch of emails and text messages for people asking me, what is this and why did I do it? Uh, this is an electronic torque transducer. It's electronic, it gives you a digital readout, and it measures torque much different than your torque wrench does. The torque wrench simply detects torque. When you reach a certain torque value or it sees a certain amount of resistance, it breaks or clicks. This actually measures torque value so you can see exactly how much torque you're putting on a fastener. And I use them just to make sure that they match because the mechanical device and electronic device are measuring slightly differently and I use them just to verify each other. Now it's been my experience that mechanical torque wrenches, especially these adjustable kind, these will go out of calibration or change a lot faster than an electronic one. So I use this to verify that this is working properly. This one is made by Anpuds, A-N-P-U-D-S. I'll put a link in the description of the video so you can check them out. They come in different ranges. They have four different ranges. This one goes from 12 and a half to 250 foot pounds. 12 and a half to 250.8, I believe it is, foot pounds. And it's that range that makes it really nice. It's a half inch on both ends. I, got, I have the bigger one. I actually have a couple of them. And it comes in a nice little carrying case. This is great because you just put it in here. When you want to put it away, you store it in your tool, toolbox. It comes with the adapters to go down to 3 8 quarter inch. So it's really nice to, to store. And these things are way more versatile than a torque wrench because I measure in different values. I can have peak hold, torque hold, and I can change between settings really quick. This has 10 presets in it, so you can set 10 different torque values in there. And just by pressing a button, you can select a different program and go from 20 foot-pounds to 50 to 100 if you're torquing something down and you need a series of torques. These are great for that because it makes it a lot easier. To use it, you simply turn it on. It goes through a series of checks. You hear a beep, and it's ready to use. The units go from newton meters, foot-pounds, inch-pounds, kilograms per centimeter, and kilograms per meter. I use it in foot pounds. Uh, you can also use the up and down arrow. So I have right now it's set for, I have it on program two, which is 50 foot pounds. I also have 30. So I, you can set up the 10 values in here and it makes it real easy when you're changing torque values. The peak hold and, and the torque constant torque value is really nice. And again, it stores up to 500 values. It automatically shuts off too after two minutes. So if you leave it on and leave it sitting somewhere, you don't have to worry about it burning out the batteries. After two minutes, it automatically shuts off. I did get a couple messages of people asking me if you can use this as a torque wrench, and the answer is absolutely. You just put it on your ratchet and it's ready to go, just like a torque wrench. So let's put it to the test and see which one is more accurate. Let's torque down a bolt using a torque wrench with this attached and see if the torque wrench breaks right where this is set for. The difference between peak and torque is when it's on torque, you get constant value, so it goes up and down. If you have it on peak, it'll only give you the peak value that was reached. If I go peak, it'll hold the peak. Now, it also has negative, so if you're going to try and measure breakaway torque, you can measure breakaway torque, which is kind of nice there. It goes plus and minus. So I'm going to put it on peak, and I have it set at 50 foot-pounds, and let's see if the torque wrench breaks right at 50. I have this set at 50. My torque wrench is set at 50. And you should see the green, yellow, red come on the closer I get to 50 foot-pounds. So here we go. Forty-eight point four. 48.6. Let's try it again. 49.2. So it's pretty close. The difference between the mechanical and electronic device is accuracy. The electronic device is accurate plus or minus 1%. Mechanical torque wrenches could be plus or minus 3 to 5%. And we just saw that difference. And there are so many variables that come into play when you're holding the torque wrench. Where you hold it, are you supporting it in the middle, if you're putting an angle on it, if you're doing it straight, there are so many things that affect torque. That is why I like to use these devices to make sure that when I use this device, it's being used properly and the fastener is always torqued to the proper value. So go to the website, check out all the devices they have and pick the one that's right for you. Give yourself some peace of mind. Thanks for stopping by Pete's Garage.